Welcome to the Hughes Optioneering Weekly Workshop, where we scientifically engineer trades for greater profit potential. This is the disclaimer slide. You can pause to read it. We're going to move on. Today we're going to look at NTRA, or Natera Inc. Natera is a global leader in cell-free DNA testing with a focus on women's health, oncology, and organ health. Here is the barchart.com technical opinion rating for NTRA. The bar chart rating is a 96% buy with a strengthening short-term outlook and maintaining the current direction. Long-term indicators fully support a continuation of the trend. Next, we're going to look at the monthly chart. A stock is in a bull trend on a monthly basis. If the stock price is above the 10 period or 10 month, simple moving average. The monthly chart shows that NTRA is well above the moving average line, so the monthly trend in NTRA is up. Next, we're going to look at the daily chart. A stock is in a bull trend on a daily basis. If the 50-period or 50-day exponential moving average is above the 100-day exponential moving average, the blue line is the 50-day EMA line, and the green line is the 100-day EMA line. The blue line has been above the green line since December, so the daily trend in NTRA is up. Next, we're going to look at our daily chart that displays the Keltner channel. As a rule, we don't want to buy calls if the stock price is above the upper Keltner channel line. Anywhere inside the Keltner channel or even below the Keltner channel is fine. NTRA is below the upper Keltner channel line, so NTRA is inside the buy zone. Since the trend is up, we want to buy a call. And TRA has five option chains to choose from. We're going to use the November 15 option chain. Right now, the November 15 options have 32 days to expiration. Here's most of the NTRA option chain for November 15. NTRA closed at 130.06 on Friday. That means any calls on the list from 85 to 130 are in the money. Let's take a look at the profit potential for purchasing the 130 strike call, which is the closest strike to the current price of the stock. The bid ask spread for the 130 call is 960 to 1010. We try to enter at the midpoint, so we'll use 985 as the buy price. Our call option calculator shows the profit potential for this call based on NTRA price changes, the option expiration from flat to a 12.5% increase in price. We can see that if the NTRA stock price is flat at 130.05 at option expiration, the 130 call will lose 99.5% of its value. Ouch! This is an unacceptable risk. That kind of loss can wipe out our trading account in a hurry. We developed what we call the 1% rule to help us avoid this kind of risk. The 1% rule says to limit the time value portion of the option we buy to 1% of the stock price. That means the stock only has to move up 1% for the call option we purchase to break even and start profiting. Now let's take a look at buying the 110 strike call to see if it qualifies for the 1% rule. Here's the call option calculator picture for the 110 call. According to the 1% rule, we want the call to at least break even if the stock price is up 1%. The calculator picture shows that if the NTRA stock price is up 1%, the 110 call will lose 8% of its value. We want that to be break even or better, so the 110 call does not meet our requirements. Let's see if the 90 call will work. The bid ask spread for the 90 call is 38.50 to 43.40. We try to enter at the midpoint, so we'll use 40.95 as the buy price. The 90 call works. If the NTRA stock price is up 1%, the 90 call will make a 1% or $40 profit. That's better than break even, so the 90 call is the one we'll buy. The call option purchase calculator also shows that if the NTRA stock price increases by 2.5%, the 90 call will make a 5.7% or $235 profit. If the NTRA stock price increases by 5%, the 90 call will make a 13.7% or $560 profit. 
If the NTRA stock price increases by 7.5%, the 90 call will make a 21.6% or $885 profit. The 10% and 12.5% numbers are also displayed. You can see that the profits get better and better. And notice that if the NTRA stock price does not make the expected move up and remains flat at expiration, the 90 call would only lose minus 2.2% or minus $90 compared to the minus 99.5% or minus $980 loss for the 130 strike call that we looked at earlier. Now we want to review a call option debit spread, aka a vertical call spread. For this spread, we want to buy to open the NTRA November 15 110 strike call and sell to open the NTRA November 15 120 strike call. We're going to base our entry prices on the midpoint between the bid and ask prices. That means we'll buy the 110 call for 2320 and sell the 120 call for 1530. 2320 minus 1530 equals 790. So the entry price or debit cost for the spread is $790. The call option spread analysis calculator picture shows that the spread will make a 26.6% or $210 profit. If the NTRA stock price declines by 7.5%, remains flat, or increases in price when the options expire. Creating the debit spread will allow us to collect a $1,530 cash credit to our brokerage account for the sale of the 120 call. As we said in the previous slide, this reduces the cost to entering, of entering the spread to $790. Here's a note regarding earnings reports. The next NTRA earnings report is scheduled for November 13, two days before expiration. Let's review the trades one more time. The first trade was a call purchase, said to buy to open the NTRA November 15, 90 strike call for $40.95. You also read the spread. The spread said to buy to open the NTRA November 15, 110 strike call and sell to open the NTRA November 15, 120 strike call at a debit of $7.90. Whoops, I have October 18th and there is the sell date. I'm sorry. I've been saying November 15th all the way through. I hope that's not a problem. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again next week.